Hi there. Grant to hear. And today is Monday and thinking of what to do today again. Well, I'll tell you a story. March 3, that was uh, last week. I mentioned it to Bestie, you know, where she lives close by. And sometimes, you know, like you see it in my previous videos, she's my uh, uh, taster you know, of whatever I make for the first time. Anyhow, if uh, your first time here in this uh, channel, you know, I'm really an amateur in the kitchen. I try, you know, because instead of just sitting down there and not doing anything, when you're retired, you know, you you look for something else to do, right? She gave me these uh, artisano sausage rolls. You know, I usually eat the loaf of bread, you know, uh, artisano, of course, because that's the bread that I really like, the taste I like. Uh, she brought me a wheat bread. I told her already, you know, I don't eat wheat bread. Ah, it's healthy, it's healthy. Forget the healthy thing, you know, it's bitter. I don't like wheat bread. I only eat the white one. She was carrying the wheat bread. She was carrying the sausage rolls. I said, I just picked the sausage rolls. Then I look at it. You know, this expiration was March uh, 2. And she came here March 3. She delivered it March 3. I said, it's expired. And then she said, ah, that's still okay. It's still good. Okay, so let me just put it in the freezer. But today, today is March 6 already. I was thinking, oh my God, it's getting longer in the freezer. Maybe I should thaw it and do something about it. So I watch a YouTube channel. I think it's yeast mode, you know, who was making it. It's Pinoy style of bread pudding. Or like uh, nurses do, especially ICU nurses, we question what the doctor's orders, right? Um, everybody knows, you know, all the nurses who are here watching, you know, we, if we don't agree with the management sometimes, you know, uh, we suggest, you know, we don't really question the doctor. We just suggest, you know, we think it's just better that way. You know, it's more tactful that way. And, and the doctors would accept it better than saying like, you know, a strong, strong opinion, like, oh, you didn't do this, you know, it's not like that. No, you cannot do that because you don't have an, an MD in your name. You only have an RN in your name. Anyhow, today, I'm not following his mode, you know, per se, you know, all her instruction. I'm going to twerk or tweak the recipe a little bit. You know, maybe I'll add some butter, maybe I'll add some banana, I'll add some raisin uh, to it, you know, to look like, uh, you know, it's not only a plain bread pudding. Maybe it's going to be more appetizing to eat, probably, or oh, we'll see, okay? So bear with me, stay tuned, and I'll try making a banana bread raisin pudding <laughs> see in a bit cutting this uh, leftover sides that i took out from the uh, banana french toast that i made in one of my videos last week i'm cutting them into pieces and i'm gonna make like at least 550 grams of uh, leftover bread, including Bestie's uh, sausage rolls. Okay, I was able to cut uh, the bread, you know, into small pieces, put them in the same bag so it's not gonna put some weight in it. Just wanna make sure I have the right uh, weight that they're suggesting they want 550 grams okay zero your weighing scale and then put it on top oh it's only 538 grams it really doesn't matter because i'm still gonna cut some bananas you know to mix with it so 
this is good enough well i don't know how much bananas i'm going to include but i'll try let's see if i can have one or two and my leftover raisins are getting dry as well so maybe they're going to soften up just mash the uh, bananas so it will uh, mix easily with the uh, bread it's just my idea well there it is it's mash it looks nice it looks promising and my raisin that's drying up i hope it's gonna soften up i put there uh the bread half a cup of flour that she said and then uh, i also put one teaspoon of salt so i'm gonna mix them together mix 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 now i'm gonna mix this with uh, the one can of evaporated milk she said about 410 of evaporated milk and then the condensed milk this is a filipino thing they will usually use condensed milk even as a child <laughs> i used to have uh, as a baby i think i had condensed milk anyway i'm a rebel without a cause she didn't mention butter but i'm gonna mix butter melted butter also, I'm going to mix the uh, bananas and my, my uh, raisins. She mentioned to uh, mix one teaspoon of vanilla, half teaspoon of um, baking powder, half a cup of water. I have cinnamon too. Why not put some cinnamon? It would uh, probably enhance the taste. All right, everything is here. I don't know how moist it's supposed to be, but well, it's an experiment. We'll see how it's going to come out to. 20 minutes of soaking is just now. Now I'm preparing my, my pan. It's either grease them up or use uh, parchment paper or baking paper to um, Put it under and then so that after after it's baked you no know, we'll um, just lift it this way in the meantime i'm going to uh, preheat the oven for 370 degrees fahrenheit transfer them into the pan tried my very best to uh distribute the uh, mixture evenly well hopefully it's gonna come out right the oven is ready now bake it for 50 to 60 minutes it's almost an hour five zero minutes or 50 minutes to be exact let's see if this is okay got a toothpick oh i think it's good mm -hmm. The pan is very hot because it just came out from the oven. I let it cool down a little bit and then maybe later on, I'll just lift this up. <laughs> it's good. My first time to use it and it's, it works well. Let it cool down a little bit, then I'll cut them later on.
And I'll call my bestie to come pick up her share. I'm excited to cut them. It's still a little bit warm. But I'm excited to really see how does it taste. Looks good. Smells, smells good too. Mm. Oh, the raisins, it got moist. Mmm. Mmm. Another recipe to brag. Mm -hmm. It's not so sweet. So, it's going to be good for Bestie. Come and get it, Bestie. Bestie, I only have a round container. I don't have the rectangular one. So, I formed the pudding into this... Uh, like a Colosseum, Italian Colosseum, back in Italy. I'm just kidding. Anyway, well, that's all I can do, but this is for you, Bestie. Come and get it because I like to share. You know, it's no fun eating it alone. So this is for you, and you can share it with your apos, okay? They'll like it, and it's not too sweet, so it's good for you. If the pudding is not sweet for you and you want it sweeter, you can use a caramelized uh, chocolate or caramelized uh, uh, cream, coconut cream, or a caramelized molasses, which I have already as a ready mix. And I can use it as a sauce for the um, pudding. And if I dip it there and I eat it with the uh, pudding that I just made, oh my God, you'll forget your name, I swear. It is so delicious. Yum, yum. Mmm, yum. Hello, this is Bestie. Grunty with Bestie. <laughs> I'm her too. Taste her yam pudding. It's really good. This is bread pudding that she made. Thumbs up. Okay. Thanks for watching. Next time again. <laughs>